All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. For my money, Mike is the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that could do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at a team list in Georgia, Giga Chikase. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. guys in their UFC careers this year. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball for punch land. Now we'll get back to range. Job at least staying upright on that. Back to the feet now. Look at 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Out of range with that one. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's looking to land the right just out of range. Just over two minutes to go. Let me see that hook. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. That shot was blocked by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. One minute to go here in the opening round. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after the guns of laser. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. All right, let's engage in a single collar tie. Lee gets hit with a kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, oh, big knee there. Oh, straight right. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. And they separate. Straight punch land. Beautiful body kick. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Three minutes now to go in round two. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Single follow tie now. Nice punch there. Right hand upstairs. on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nice one. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he lands another 
strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. And they separate. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by a mess He goes everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, nice jab. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Right at the elbow, the body of the plane. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Effective punch there. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands it so effectively. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Lee's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Striking around with MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful charge ball combination. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. Oh, a big knee. He needs to start looking to finish. Oh. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee.